So this is coming along. He's waiting. And I think what's going to happen is these traffic lights are going to change. And there we go. Look. The, ba the barriers have gone down, dude. Stop. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in New Zealand. And today we are going to start off with putting a little fix together on this humongously tall bridge. And then we are going to dive over to a brand new area, which is just a little bit round here. This area here that we haven't touched. I've got some great plans that's going to involve a ton of mass transit and a ton of visitors. Very excited to dive into that. So last episode, we put this little area together along the front here on no problem at all, which nicely increased our population. A little bit of traffic coming in, but I think there's just a lot of people coming in to move into this area. And it meant we had this bridge along here, uh, which actually we've had this bridge along here the whole time because people use it to get in and out of the fishing area. And unfortunately, I noticed that the here we go these guys over here let's just jump out of this view grab this guy here and we're going to follow him in to the city and see what happens well apart from him probably destroying a couple of fishing boats on the way down. <laughs> he made it out alive but he's going to have another go for another 50 points on this one. Oh my goodness me this guy ain't going to make it oh he slowed down for that one that's very nice of you. Thank you. And here we go. This was the problem. We needed to lift this bridge way... Oh, he's still, he's still not perfect, is it? Uh, no. But we need to lift this bridge way up to try and solve this issue. Well, you know what? There is another thing that we can do. And the top voted comment about this was from Gerge44. who said, how about that mod that lifts the bridge up and down? Uh, which is called the movable bridge mod and i thought you know what let's give that another look and it has been updated so the movable bridge mod and custom animation loader which you will also need have been updated to work with the new airport dlc and we've got some bridges let's just take a look and there's more bridges available because we've, we've had a look at this um before this mod uh bridge and we're going to change that to ploppable and there was only the one bridge there was a Koinenbrugge Bridge. That's probably not how you pronounce it at all. And yet yeah, we used that and then the mods broke. It was an update, so we just removed it. But now we have these other ones here as well. So we've got the Strauss Road Bridge, um, which here we go. We can see that this is a two-lane road bridge. And you can probably get an idea of how it opens. You've got the big weight on the back there, so it's going to tip up. Uh, there's also a four-lane version of this, which is fantastic. And then there's the bridge that we're probably going to end up using, which is just great. The vertical lift bridge. And you can't see it yet um, until you place it down. But I would like to just have a look at this one because this looks really cool. So what we're going to do here is we are going to delete these upper portions here. That is a four-lane road there, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, we need the Anarchy mods. Actually, do you need the Anarchy mod to place that? No, I'll tell you what it is. It's these power lines that are causing issues. Let's just get rid of those. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to the height that it is like that. Yeah, these roads then are going to end up being a little bit too big. But I'm going to do Control h with the Move It mod to lower that down to the same. Control h with the Move It mod to lower that down to the same. <laughs> Whoa, this is going to look very weird. And then I'm also going to just line this up with... Ah, there we go. So we've got the boat lane there. So we're going to move that over like that and try and get that over. There we go. So you can see where the boat's going underneath. Um, we will have to straighten this out a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take these rows. As I said, we're only just sort of checking this out. This whoop. Let's try that again. This isn't going to be the final version that we're going to do, but I just wanted to see what this one was like. Let's connect this up to this one. That just does look a very bit weird doesn't it and then we'll just sort of straighten this all up okay there we go so we get a rough idea what it looks like you maybe wouldn't want to use such a wide bridge coming into that as i do but let's just unpause the game let all the trucks and the cars whoa work it. what the heck <laughs> flying through the air look at them spinning around what is going on and here we go look so this is coming along he's waiting and I think what's going to happen is these traffic lights are going to change. Oh, a little bit of turbulence here because we've been using the movement mod in the water. Yeah, he's waiting. He's waiting. There we go. Look. The, ba the barriers have gone down, dude. Stop. 
Stop. Okay, they've stopped this side. Thank you for obeying the laws of the road. I don't know why they're not stopping this side. Okay, well... <laughs> that is your own issue if you're not... It's probably... I don't know why that hasn't worked. But anyway, that just looks great, doesn't it? Like that. Oh, I'm loving the animation on that. Let's just ignore all the trucks going through. Look away, look away. Oh, hang on. Is he going to get through before he goes down? No. Oh, look at the animation. That is so cool. And then the lights change, the things lift up, and off they go. That is nice. I do like that one. We may make use of that somewhere else. I may just look into this problem with the lights and see what happens. But yeah, that is not the one that I want to go into here. So yeah, let's remove this. So that's what was there before. So if we just move, remove, I should say, these ones here. And we'll go back to our bridge. And I really want to use this vertical lift bridge. This thing just looks fantastic now oh dear whoa now that will hook onto the side there will it no i don't think it will there we go that should be okay and then if we grab nope not that if we grab this road here in fact i am just going to rebuild that so we're going to go from there uh, let's do it like that and we're going to go straight slope yeah i'm going to anarchy that in there we go. And in fact, I'm going to do the same over here as well. So we're going to straight slope, anarchy that in. Yeah, that lines up okay, doesn't it? Yep, yep, yep. Excellent. Let's just check if there's any, uh, not with that one, with this one, any nodes. Yeah, there's a node in the middle there. I'm going to remove that. So then we get it nice and straight. And I'm going to remove that one there. And it gets nice and straight up and over there. In fact, this bit here, I feel like I want to just move that. That to me... Seems a bit better. It's not quite in the middle, but that's okay from what we've got lined up here. So I'm not sure whether this is going to instantly work. Whoa. <laughs> but let's keep an eye on it. So we've, again, we've got our stop signs here. And he's waiting. He's waiting over there. So let's just see what happens. Oh, oh, the barrier's going down. Are they going to stop? It might be one of those things where, because I've sort of changed something on the road, they've stopped the other end, that they need to think about it for a while. Well, let's just come out a little bit and watch this. Yeah, they've stopped both sides. Look, the police are ignoring the traffic lights, but the other one didn't. Okay, that's good. Look at that. And if you go with the height that it gives you, it fits under perfectly. If you sort of try and lower it down or move it around, you'll end up putting it back to what it was before anyway, so... Believe me, I've tried. That is fantastic. Now, that looks like a dual road. Like, there's a road underneath. Oh, a bit of flicker in there. And a road above. Is that the case? I don't know. But there we go. That Look at that. That just works absolutely perfectly. And I, I'm hoping that as that comes through and has to stop, that these don't come through that often. And don't cause that many problems. I mean, there's not another one coming. Look, there's no traffic either side. I think, you know, we'd be okay with that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I've just seen that this actually comes with a vertical lift bridge road. So I'm just wondering whether we just upgrade uh, that part over there. How does that look? Do you know what? As much as I like this other little bridge, this bit just goes together so much better with it. It's like it's all made of the same thing and it goes really well. It doesn't say in the Steam Workshop description what this bit under here is, whether it's supposed to be an extra road or not. I'm going to say it isn't. <laughs> We're just going to go with this. Let's keep an eye this time on the traffic, whether it causes a backup. So these guys are going to end up stopping in a minute. Okay, there it goes. It's lifting. And they're not backing up that far at all. Look, they're not even backing up to the edge of the bridge. Oh, that is, oh there's one coming the other way. Is he going to have to wait? He's going to have to wait for it to go down. So there's a bit of a maybe time delay thing there. But a bit of flickering as well. I don't know what's causing that. But we'll just go with it. Yeah, look, it didn't even back up past the end of the bridge. That is brilliant.
There we go, fantastic. I'm really pleased with that. So I'm wondering whether there's any other spots. It's a nice looking bridge as well. Um, any other spots we could do the bridge? Oh, just while we're here, by the way, had a few comments saying, why don't I repurpose uh, these fishing trucks and things so they don't have to go through this pedestrian area? Um, there is a train station right here, a cargo train station, which they will use, which connects to our main line. Um, and also the sort of, you know, the history of the city. This fishing island was here first, and then this was built up afterwards. So they knew the fishy trucks would be coming through this road. That is just the way it is. Okay. Just having a look around here. So other bridges that we've got. We've got like this bridge here. But if I remember correctly, let's just have a look at our... Do, 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 this line here. Yeah, so we've got these lines going in and out. But they're going in between and that's high enough. We've got a couple of other little bridges over here. But these are basically ferries and cargo barges, I think. Are the only ones that go under here and they're really low. Uh, nothing goes through there. So I think the rest of our city is probably okay. So let's move on to the idea I've got for this little peninsula, this little area over here on the other side of the PG Tips Mountains. So my idea for this little spot of land here is to make it a tourist destination. I would like to get as many tourists in here as possible. Now the first thing I'm looking at is how easy is it to access this area? Well, let me just sort of take an overview of what's going on. Uh, we do have our train line that runs along here. We've got a station here, a station here. We've also got a station down here. Uh, we've also got a ferry stop, ferry bus terminal here, so we can bring buses in um, from the ferry connection. I'm trying to avoid just ramming everything in here, uh, all the different mass transit options, when we have them nearby. We're going to try and make use of what we've got. But I would like to add a metro stop in here. And if you remember, all the way over on the other side of the island, down here, we have this amazing metro terminal. There we go, the Metro Plaza Station. It never keeps the name that we give it. We're just going to go with the Metro Plaza Station. And underground, uh, let's go into this view. We have some of these little arms that are popping out uh, all over the place. And there is a couple that are spare. This one here branches out and stops there. And I would like to bring that over to the other side of our city um, so it's going to go through the pg tips mountains and end up over there it's going to be a pretty long metro ride oh my giddy aunt what the heck right let's try that again so i'm hooking onto that size there is that going to go underground it is i had anarchy on i think that's what it was okay yeah so we're going to run that all the way uh, over here under the PG Tips mountains. I just want it to stay under the mountains and not pop out anywhere. <laughs> I think that's okay. And then we'll get that to come around here. And where are we going? We're going to over here. So I'm just going to sort of stop it there. And I want to just go back and check that I haven't messed anything up. It all looks okay to me. The only thing I did notice was it is very... Whoa, up and down and up and down. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave it like that and we're just going to not talk about that again. So what are we going to put in here? I think the biggest thing that I want to put in here is the space elevator. This is going to bring in so many tourists to our area. I think that is just going to be a fantastic item to have in here. And then we've also got a ton of parks and things that we can put in. Could we like put the Statue of Liberty over here on a little rocky island? Could we fit this in and make it like a, if I say Coney Island, is that the, is that the right sort of thing? I know that's a place where they, they've got like a merry-go-round and different things like that. But somewhere you can come and see all sorts of these things and try and just get them all to work in here. And we know it is going to be rammed with tourists, but I just think that is just going to be fantastic. And also, I would like to uh, have people pay to come and use this area. This is going to be somewhere, two-way toll booth, that you have to pay to get into. So we pop that down like that. Yeah, there we go. So that is the entrance. We are going to be making a ton of money from all the people. There we go. We're going to grab that road there, put it back to normal height, put that on there. Everything's working nicely. Yeah, excellent. So we will have... I think we're going to have a bit of parking sort of in this little spot down here. 
with maybe like a little beachfront cafe or something. And then the rest of this, we want to just sort of bring out and I don't know, see, see what we can do. So this is going to be a self-contained area. I'm just going to run that road up there. I'm not sure I'm going to use that one. Uh, it is going to be a self-contained area. Um, we're going to have no other, what I mean by that, roadway it's self-contained so you're not gonna be able to sort of cut across there on a bridge or anything like that you're gonna come through here and you are gonna pay now as much as the space elevator is pretty tall and could possibly be our centerpiece here there is something else that's even taller that i would like to add in here which this one here the oriental pearl tower that is even bigger and i would like that to be our centerpiece whether it is actually in the center or more sort of up against yeah i think we're going to have it in the center over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plop it there and then i'm going to use the move it mod to sort of line that up where i want it and then put some roads up against it so this is the front down here oh there we go look at that that can be seen from a long way away that is whoop that is really going to define this area here i think yeah very nice very nice and this is certainly going <laughs> to this is certainly going to have a lot of visitors oh my goodness me what sort of information do we get about this on here yeah visitor capacity 350 oh my goodness me that is a lot and then i want the space elevator over here as well and again i'm thinking if we can just sort of Hmm. So where's our metro going to come in? I think our metro needs to come in right opposite the space elevator. And could we have that running up along the highway over here? Let's pop that in there. And then we're going to grab the move it mod. And unfortunately, we've got some power lines there. Let's just sort those out. There we go. So I'm going to put that not right up against the highway but near enough let's just maybe move that a little bit away and we can put maybe a wall or something along there as well but that let's just step back and have a look yeah i don't, don't like the fact that they're so close together i think actually i'm going to change my mind we're going to move that over here Oh, we've got this great big rock. Look, he's not hurting anybody. Let's just pop that over there. And your little children. There we go. Excellent. Let's just remove some of these trees. Yeah, I think we're going to have this up against this corner here. Control H. Get that the same height as the road that's right there. Nope, that's a little bit too low. Let's lift that up. Let's lower that down. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then we're going to have... We're going to have a road here, but we're definitely going to have the metro right outside. And we're going with two new roads here. Uh, no parking because we've got a lot of stuff to fit in. <laughs> and it's going to be interesting to try and get all this stuff fitting in here. Okay, so if we do something like that, then we can pop our metro uh, literally right up against there. And they can walk out there and go straight into the metro. So why don't we just hook that up? Uh, this one here underground we'll go to our tunnel and a key is oh there it is look it's right there so we're just going to delete a bit of that off there we go that's fine so that then hooks in to the tarantula station all the way over there we'll come back to yeah what we're going to call all of these things and we are going to decorate all of this as well after we've popped some items down and i've just noticed we've spent so much money we're down to three hundred thousand, and because of the normal <laughs> industries dlc up and down with the money type of thing eek we're going to be losing some money so i'm actually just wondering whether we should get these things hooked up super pronto um yeah and start earning some money from these so let us do that and then we can continue continue exploring the area now i do realize that i was saying about visitors coming here i mean the most visitors we're going to get through this area is going to be people coming uh, from the space elevator and we've blocked off we haven't blocked off their outside access to the outside we've given them easier access to the outside with the metro so if they do come in there and jump on the metro we're only going to be gaining sort of tourist money if they visit things in our city whereas anybody coming in and out by car we are going to be paying 
but I think that'll be fine. I don't think we'll go overboard uh, with all of that. So for now, I think we just need to sort of do a temporary... Yeah, we'll just do that one down to here. Temporary little setup with our power just to get these things going. There we go. That's it. They've all come alive. And then we're going to add in a metro stop that runs from here all the way under the PG Tips Mountain, all the way along this little one here. And it's going to come in on that side. If I hold shift, I've got the mod that allows me to change the side of the line and then all the way back to there again. Now, we don't have a name for this area. So we need a, oh, you know, a, I mean, you look at the things that we're putting in here. T related space elevator related you let me know and then we can name our line there that's going backwards and forwards okay so that is at any point is that working operating normally yeah excellent that will start bringing people in we're going to see that very very quickly so let us just i think we're going to add some of these other roads onto here because why not what's this person doing over here Oh, you have a taxi just picking up a random person from over there okay that's fine no problem uh this here i'm gonna chunk up the money so we're gonna make some extra money from there now what else do i want to put in here okay i'm looking at the arc de triomphe here and i'm thinking oh auto save quick sip of tea that's what i was thinking i'm thinking can i put that with a road going through the middle of it right at the entrance here well let's just uh take a look and see how that works. Oh, do you know what? That is just like the perfect size. So if I do that. And then can I sort of lower that down a bit? That doesn't get rid of that line there. How about if I pick up this one and that one? No, nope, that doesn't do that either. So it's sort of going to end up with that. That sort of look going over there. Hmm. I wonder whether I could change this road for another road or we could just leave it like that. I don't know. Just something a little bit silly. You know, this area, it's not its not to be taken seriously. But it's to come and see some replicas of the sites around the world. So why not? Why not have this right here as you come in and out? I think, I think that'll be fine. And next on the list is the Ziggurat Gardens. And I ideally wanted that to be along here. Um, I think I could just anarchy that in and then we're going to do a bit of landscaping because I'll tell you why in a minute. Yeah, that's okay. And then I want to bring this land out here. So we're going to lose some of these little stones along here. Well, that just did nothing at all, did it? Brush size, brush strength, right click and then left click. There we go. Excellent. So we're going to bring that out for now because I would like to put... Uh, behind this this here so we've got the floating gardens which i think just needs what i'm going to do is plop it down where it goes and then we're going to line it up and i'd like this lined up and i hold control just oh hang on let's do that again control and right click get that yeah lined up like that and then we can bring that out to where the water is is that in the middle I think that's as near to the middle as we're going to get it. And then we're going to lower that down a bit. And then actually, oh no, darn it. Before I put that in, I wanted to put in some key walls along here. Of course, all the way down this section. Um, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to, oh my goodness, look how much money I don't have. We're going to move that over there. Uh, we're going to get rid of all the trees down here there we go and i want this to be a key wall yeah i think that looks so much neater when you've got it edged off like that. I'm preferring that. Very good, very good. I might just leave that growing up over there. How's that look over here where it meets under the bridge? It's got a nice finish to it. What about this end? Yeah, that's okay. That's good. Excellent. So now we could move that back over here again. Uh, let's go back into a move it mod. Grab this. And I'm just wondering, yeah, if we hold alt, we can just sort of snap tap snap that to the edge and that just goes perfectly there we just lower that down 
I'll tell you what, because we've got this wall that runs through there, maybe we just need to change a piece of this in here so it can just have this sitting on it a bit better. Oh, there we go. That one works. Simple city key fenceless. And then what we can do is we can grab the node here, hold alt on the move it mod and just bring that right up to there. And we'll do the same on that side. There we go. And then we still have the walkway going behind. This sort of finishes nicely here and we don't have the fence going straight through the middle. Yeah, so that will work okay. I believe we're going to have to adjust some fishing lines and things. But let's add... Yeah, you're going to need some water. We are going to go straight through there. Excellent. And we'll just pop a temporary power line in. There we go. People are coming in, which is great. Train lines are backing up. <laughs> it's like every time I load the game, the train lines like to back up. So what have we got coming through here? 18 a week. Not so many people coming out of here. Oh, 499. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They are running into here. I don't know what these people are doing. They're sort of standing around. Are they using public transport? Going to car park. Woo! All the way on the other side of the city. Oh, okay. Excellent. Well, they're obviously waiting for a metro train. And one thing we didn't actually check is how many metros... Uh, we'll put onto that one. So, Metro Line. It's going to be Metro Line 1, isn't it? Yeah. So, we've got six vehicles on there. Holding 150 each. And they're okay. They're nicely spread out. We could go for... Hmm. Like the high capacity Metro. Which... Oh, dear. <laughs> which immediately disappears. Here we go. 500. Oh, no, we don't need to do that. Let's just stick to the let's just stick to the normal metro. That'll be fine. That'll take care of our needs. Right. Let's just pop a district over here. So that way, once you've given me a fantastic name that we can use in here, I will remember to come along and name this thing. There we go. Excellent. So it's Applegate Hills at the moment. Uh, this needs a little bit of road access down here. So let's sort that out. Okay, I'm also thinking about making this a park area, sort of round the outside here, so we can start adding some park features in. So let me just add that in as a zone. There we go, excellent. So that is now Olive Garden. And yeah, I mean, we could end up with... Uh, let's have a quick look at our parks. We could end up with an amusement park just in here just a couple of amusement park items oh now that i've said that i think that would be fantastic we've already unlocked everything because of our other amusement park that we've got oh man where is it that i built that oh i remember oh man it was so long ago wasn't it this city's just been going for so long here we go teasley world all the way over here look at that look at that so we could sort of do just a very, very small couple of items along here, right on the coast. I think that would be nice. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I am going to use my <laughs> new favourite thing from this mod, Create Parallel Mode. And we are going to go from here all the way around to there with the last thing I picked, which was a path. Oh, man, I never remember the controls. Oh, yeah, plus and minus. There we go. And we're going to get that right up against there. A little bit of space. Yeah, like that. Press enter. There we go. We can remove all of that in a bit. Oh, look at that. And that nicely lines up all the way along there. Excellent. There we go. And if you add it afterwards like that, you've got a couple of nodes uh, that need joining. You can use this one here. Union nodes mods. And that should, uh, 
That one and that one. That did not work at all. Yikes, I think I joined it to this thing down here. Uh, I need to fix that. Okay, let's try that again. What I'm just thinking is, if I can use the Move It mod um, to grab... Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Grab the nodes of that. And yeah, that'll do. And just sort of move that out the way. Then we can use the Union Nodes option and say grab that one and that one. There we go. Ignore that. And then go back to the Move It mod and do Control z Undo. Yeah, and that sort of lines it up. And then we can just put that at the same height as another node over there. Yeah, a little bit of finagling and then that would all be sorted out no problem. Right, just checking how things are going. I was looking at the wrong line, wasn't I? It's Metro Line 14 over here. How many people do we have? Whoa, 1,000 waiting over here by the uh, space elevator. So we definitely need to do something about that. Uh, I am now going to change this one to the big one, the high capacity Metro. There we go. Let's give that a second to kick back in. It's still going to give us four vehicles of 500 each. So a couple of sweeps. Oh, there we go. Look, instantly picked up 500 and off they go. And then another one's going to come around here and do the same thing. And yeah, keep on top of that. We want to keep those people moving as much as possible. Fantastic. And then over here, let's just have a look along the front. Not finished yet, but that is looking like somewhere that you would like to come and visit, isn't it? Most definitely. Now, I would like to add in um a bus stop to come over here as well so over here we have our ferries that come in and stop over here by our bus and ferry interchange exchange st exchange stop <laughs> if i could speak that would be fantastic it's like only something i do for a living so you know don't worry about it uh, face don't really need to talk perfectly so we're going to come from there and we're just going to let it go whichever way it wants to go. And we're going to stop it before here. Oh, it won't let me. I want to stop it. Okay, let's just delete that line. I want to stop it before people because this is like the way that we're charging people to come in. You know, so we're being a bit, uh, we're being a bit uh, sneaky, I suppose, is what you are um, trying to say. So we're going to go like that. And then maybe a little turnaround on the end. Yeah, I think that looks okay. And then we can have this as like... A bus stop sort of thing going on here um, I'll tell you what I probably need to do here is change that to give way we're going to give dedicated turning lanes coming in and out of there but not necessarily on that one you can go straight on because nobody's really going to be turning in there coming from that direction uh, this is not circular at all so we're going to use this one here and say go there to there to all the way around make it circular yep excellent slightly off kilter with the shape but that's fine and then we'll go back over here and we'll do this again uh, where are we where are we here we go we're going to do that all the way this side and that's going to come all the way down to uh, uh yeah it's going to stop on the way in and then it's going to come all the way back excellent and we shall name that line once we know what this area is going to be uh is that number 46 it looks like it let's follow where that goes no, I don't think that is 46. 52, that sounds more like it. Yeah, there we go. So let's change that into that colour. And we'll have a look. What have we got going on here? Five vehicles going on here. 
And I'm thinking we're going to have quite a few, seven vehicles now, apparently. Let's put it back to five. Um, let's change the vehicle. Let's change to <laughs> one of these. You can just sit and have a ride on one of those. Pulling a train behind you. Super bendy bus. How about a bendy bus? Yeah, why not? Let's go for bendy buses down there. Where's that going to be coming out of? Aha, there's our first bendy bus. There we go. That's not too bad, is it? Let's follow that through. I always like following them through when we get a new bus route. It just helps you have a look around our city a bit more, doesn't it? Here we go. You can pass the area on the highway. That is really going to be wanting to draw you in to spend all of your money. Fantastic. I'm probably going to find that after a while we're not going to need five bendy buses because I bet they hold a lot, don't they? But we'll we'll see how it goes and we'd, we can, of course, adjust those as time goes on. And also, I'm so glad I put that little roundabout turning area in because with a bus this size, there's no way they would have... Well, they would have swung around at the end of a road, but it would have been the height of uh, non-realism, wouldn't it? Oh, I'll remove the trees off the road in a minute. Must have left prop and tree anarchy on. Okay, here we go. Let's see how it fares. Yeah, that's okay. You can fit around there. I'll tell you what we'll probably do, actually. Just to make that... Oh, let's stop following that bus. Make it a little bit easier. I'm going to grab that, do that, and make that just a bit bigger so we get like more of a curve around there. Uh, these will spread out after a while, so we won't sort of uh, see them all... I'm going to do that, so it's maybe less of a curve. Oh, actually, if I do that, it's taking away the size of the the bus thing. They're not going in anyway, are they? Look. Oh, that's very annoying, isn't it? That they don't actually drive into there properly, but... Oh, well, that's the game. That's the way it goes. Okay, right. So, what else can we add into here? Oh, and I just noticed our money. We're up to 1.3 million already from what we'll be down to, like... 100,000, 150,000, 200,000, something like that. So that is going well. All right, turns out the trees in the road here are because of this uh, amusement path park going underneath. Um, I'd like to just upgrade a small section. So I'm going to add an extra node in. I've actually already got a node there and there, and it won't let me just upgrade that bit, which is very odd. Oh, it's let me do it. Okay, there we go. It's fine. That's got rid of most of the trees under the road. And we can just move these over and these over. And perfect. Well, this area isn't finished by any stretch of the imagination, but I've just run out of time today. So we're going to end that one there. If you want to see how we finish this area, be sure to subscribe. I put some biodomes in there. I think they look really cool down there. Like go in and see some butterflies or something like that in this area. But yeah, it's going really well. It's getting super busy and it's making us a lot of money. So subscribe. Don't forget that we're almost at 600,000 subscribers and then check out the next video on the screen as well. Thank you so much for your continued support. Have a great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.